Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Glory be to God Almighty. I want to say welcome to you all to our calling session. Glory be to God Almighty. On Mondays we have the calling session at 7.30 p.m. On Tuesdays we have the ministering service at 7.30 p.m. On Thursdays we have our Bible study at 7 p.m. Glory be to God Almighty tonight. Amen. I want to welcome you that are on the Facebook Live, those that are viewing on the YouTube. I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Glory be to God. Now, the numbers to get to us tonight, if you're calling from Jamaica, it's 876-217-7042. That's 876-217-7042. Or 876-779-7615. That's 876-779-7615. If you're calling anywhere from in the United States or Canada, the numbers to call are 779-223-2105. That's 779-223-2105. Glory be to God Almighty. We are going into our calling session. We have a call. Thank you for calling the Voice of God Ministry Call. Please go ahead and tell us your name and where you're calling from. My name is, good night. My name is Andre, and I'm calling from Baby. Wonderful. Welcome, welcome. Go ahead with your question. Okay, so that's Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 7. Glory be to God Almighty. Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 7, and it reads us. In that day he have brought into my sanctuary strangers, uncircumcised in heart, uncircumcised in flesh, to be in my sanctuary to pollute it, even my house, when he offer my bread, the fat and the blood, and they have broken my covenant, because of all your abomination. Glory be to God Almighty. You know, this was being referred to the children of Israel. Now, these were the chosen generation, but they were very disobedient, and they caused all kind of things to happen. Glory be to God. So Ezekiel was giving them, giving them the word that God gave to him to give to them. They were so rebellious, and they were disobedient. Please let me know if you understand. Yes, sir, I understand. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for calling. We have another call. Thank you so much for calling the Vice of God Ministry. Please go ahead and tell us your name and where you're calling from. Thank you for calling the Vice of God Ministry. Please go ahead and tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good night. Good night. Good night to you. Yes, my name is Prophetess Dallas. Okay, wonderful. Welcome, yes. Prophetess Dallas. Please go ahead with your question. Yes, sir. I would like you to explain for me Jeremiah 4, verse 4 and 5. Okay, so we're going over to Jeremiah chapter 4. We're going to read verse 4 and verse 5. It reads thus, Circumcise yourself to the Lord, and take away the foreskin of your heart, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire, and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. So that's verse 4. It was God talking to the children of Israel, Telling them to have a heart that fear him because the, even though they were the chosen generation, many of them, they did not fear God. They tend to do their own thing. So when you hear verse 4, so circumcise yourself to the Lord, 
and take away the foreskin of your heart. What it is actually saying is that they need to have a fearful heart for Almighty God because their hearts were like stone. When it comes on to God, they, they regard not God. They fear not God. Verse 5, Declare ye in Judah and publish in Jerusalem and say, Blow ye the trumpet in the land. Cry, gather together and say, Assemble yourselves and let us go into defense city. Glory be to God Almighty. Now this was a warning coming to the children of Israel from God Almighty through Jeremiah. Coming to the children of Israel from God to Jeremiah. Glory be to God for the children of Israel in a nutshell to set their houses in order. Please let me know if you understand. Yes, I do. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Prophetess Dallas. Offer yourself a wonderful evening. You too, sir. God bless you. Glory be to God Almighty. Amen. We have another call. Thank you for calling the Vice of God Ministry. Please go ahead and tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good night. My name is Samuel. I'm calling from Good night to you. Please go ahead with your question. Can I explain Sons of Solomon 2 verse 5? Song of Solomon 2 verse 5. Glory be to God Almighty. Song of Solomon 2, verse 5. It reads thus, Stay me with plagues, comfort me with apple, for I am sick of love. Now, I want to explain something to you. These are actually songs, like love songs, that Solomon was singing. Solomon wrote these songs. They're, they're like what you know now as soul music. So these are actually songs. So these are the words of songs that Solomon wrote. That's why you hear the, the, the name of the book. It is Song of Solomon. Glory be to God Almighty. So Solomon was writing his words in his song right here. Stay with me. Stay me with plague and rather. Comfort me with apples for I am sick of love. These were just songs. And these, these uh, wordings are actually symbolic. So this book, and that is why people don't go down into this book. It is very important. Though people don't go down into this book, this is actually song. These are actually songs, rather. Just like many sections in Psalms, they are actually songs. Please let me know if you understand. Yes, sir. Thank you. Wonderful. Do continue to read the Bible. God bless you. God bless you. You too. God bless you. My son. God bless you. Wonderful. Glory be to God Almighty. Amen. So, questions are coming in. Glory be to God from all, all over the Bible. We have another call. Please go ahead and tell us your name, caller, and where you're calling from. My name is Andrea, and I'm calling from Chris. Okay, Andre, go ahead with your question. All right, moving over to Psalm 95, verse 3. Glory be to God Almighty. Psalm 95, verse 3. And it reads thus, For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. Very powerful. Let me read that again so that everyone can hear. Those that are on the Facebook Live, those that are on the YouTube may hear, for the Lord is a great God and a great King above all. So, he is the King of all kings and he is the Lord of all lords. He is above all. He is the creator of all. And if it wasn't for him, there wouldn't be anything exists that you can see now. Glory be to God Almighty. Anything that exists now, it comes through God. Whether, whether that which you can see with your naked eye, yes or no, it comes through God. Please let me know if you understand, Brother Andre. Yes, sir. And I have one more question. Go ahead real quickly. Can you explain Psalms 99 verse 5? 
Okay. Psalm 99, verse 5. Exalt ye the Lord our God and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Glory be to God. What this is actually telling you is that you should worship God, prostrate before him, bow down to him, and worship him in spirit and in truth. Be ye holy because the Lord your God, he is holy. You have to be holy in order to please God. Please let me know if you understand. Yes, sir, I understand. Wonderful, wonderful. Glory be to God Almighty. God bless you. We have another call. Glory be to God Almighty. Thank you for calling the Vice of God Ministry. Please go ahead and tell us your name and where you're calling from. Let me have a Bible, please. Good night, Pastor. Um, it's Anisia from Melbourne. Okay, wonderful. Welcome to you, Sister Anisia. Please go ahead with your question. Sir, um, what does in Matthew 5, verse 22, what does rock mean? Okay. Uh, Matthew chapter 5, the word Reka, it means empty headed. Empty headed. You have another saying that, that, that goes uh, bigger than no brain in, in, in other Jamaican proverbs, but it means empty headed. If you check the definition thereof, it means empty headed. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, sir. Thank you. Wonderful, you're most welcome, my sister. God bless you. If you have another question, please feel free. Okay, sir. No, I don't. Okay, okay, wonderful. Thank you so much for calling the Vice of God ministry. God bless you. Glory be to God Almighty. So people are reading, and that is wonderful. Glory be to God. When you read the Bible, Glory be to God Almighty, it will enlighten you. If you do not read the word of God, you will not know what God requires of you. Therefore, you will not be able to live to please God because you do not know what God requires. We have another call. Please, thank you for calling the Vice of God Ministry. Please go ahead and tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good evening. My name is Mr. Lloyd, calling in from Nathan. Welcome, welcome, welcome to you, Mr. Lloyd. Please go ahead Thank with your God. question, sir. Praise the Lord. I've been reading a story um, from Genesis chapter 38 concerning Judah and Tamar when Tamar plays on Harlot and Judah. Can you shed a light on that story for me, please? Okay. Yes, okay. Real quickly, real quickly. Glory be to God Almighty. Uh, this lady Tamar, Judah, gave. Uh, Tamar to his son Onan and Er just to cut it short. They both died without getting any child with Tamar. So there was a last son by the name of Sheila. Uh, the lady was supposed to get that last son because their custom back then is that if I am the eldest brother and I am married to a woman and I don't get any child with that woman and God forbid and I pass off then my younger brother should take up that woman. Glory be to God Almighty and raise up a child in my name. So that child would be mine and not necessarily my brother. That's how they would view it. So what really happened is that after the two first son died, the, the father, Judah, said to the woman, go back to your household, your parents' household, and I, I will give Sheila to you when he's grown. Now here's father and Sheila was grown. But when the time come, Judah refrained from giving Sheila to Tamar, saying that for adventure, he sent out Sheila to Tamar and Sheila died just the same. As we would say, it is like this woman is a crisis. She have bad luck. But what happened is that the woman uh, heard that Judah was going to pass her direction. So she dressed like an harlot and she caused Judah to come in unto her and they lay together. And she conceived. Now she asked for a signet and a staff because what Judah promised her was a kid. So they would exchange a kid for the love making or the sex. So she got pregnant and when Judah heard about it over time, then he was saying that he's going to burn her alive just to cut it short. 
But the thing that happened is that the woman took the signet and the staff and Judah recognized that the woman did not go out there and play the harlot and get pregnant. But she went into the same family. Instead of Sheila, he went to their father. So she was still in the family. And at the end of it, Judah began to cry. And he said, she is more holy than I am. Glory be to God Almighty. Those who are watching, those who are uh, listening otherwise, you can go and read it over there in Genesis chapter 38 and you will get the full understanding. Please let me know if you understand, Brother Lloyd. Yes, yes, Pastor, I do understand. That's a very interesting story. Oh, yes. And thank is. you so very much for the understanding. May God bless you. Continue to do, keep up the good work. Wonderful. God, God bless you. God bless you. We have another call. Please go ahead, call and tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good night, I am Lisa from Hemley. Please go ahead, Lisa. I would like for you to explain Proverbs 11 and the verse 1 from me. I, I, I heard Proverbs, but I didn't catch everything. We are in Proverbs. 11 and the verse 1. Okay, so we're going over now to Proverbs 11, verse 1. It says, a false balance is, a, an abomin is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Glory be to God Almighty. Now, we're not just narrowing it down to scale, but the thing about it is God love when people are just. When people are fear, you don't compromise. You don't give, you don't give, amen, your, your friend the, the, the better part than the person that you're not too into. The words of section, equal rights and justice for all. That is in a nutshell what it is saying. God love when we split justice. Equal rights and justice for all. And I would remind you and everyone else that God is no respecter of person. And that is all God would want us to do. No favoritism when it comes on to Christianity. No favoritism at all. Please let me know if you understand. Wonderful, wonderful. Glory be to God. If you have another question, please feel free. Yes, I do. Um, the same Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 1. Moving over to Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1. It says, Whosoever loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. But he that hateth reprove is brutish. Glory be to God Almighty. Now, let me tell you something. Whosoever the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. And if you are a person that will take correction, you will go a far way. But if you do not love correction, you will perish by the way. Reason being, if you're going the wrong direction and correction come and you don't take it, you know that the end thereof is death. But if you take correction, then you might have life and have it more abundantly. Please let me know if you understand. Yes, I understand. Glory be to God Almighty. Thank you so much for calling the voice of God. Ministry and do have for yourself a wonderful evening. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you. Wonderful. You too. Glory be to God Almighty. Now the calls are coming in behind each other. Glory be to God Almighty. That's a wonderful thing. It tells me that people are reading and people do need to get the understanding of what they read because some people do read but they do not understand and it makes no sense you read and you do not understand glory be to god almighty uh reading the bible is just not calling words because you can pronounce them but you gotta read and you gotta understand what you read so that you can live by what you read james 1 22 not only the hearers of the word be not only a hearer of the word, rather, but a doer also, not deceiving your own self. We have another call. Thank you for calling the voice of God ministry. Please go ahead and tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yes, sir. It's Father Dallas again from Welcome back, Prophet Dallas. Please go ahead with your question. Yes, sir. I would like to explain in Deuteronomy 28, verse 7 and 8 for me. Okay, so that's Deuteronomy 28, verse 7 and verse 8. Glory be to God Almighty. It reads thus, The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. 
They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Now, let me tell you something. Paul said, if God is for us, then who can be against us? Glory be to God Almighty. And you hear David said, though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Glory be to God Almighty. So when God is with you, there is nothing that can befall you because he gives you power to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, then the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. So when one force come upon you, when they come upon you in one direction rather, they shall scatter in seven directions. Glory be to God Almighty. Verse 8. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Glory be to God Almighty. A songwriter would say, blessing is running me down. Glory be to God Almighty. If you are obedient to the word of God, the blessings will overtake you. He will widen your border. He will extend your territory. He will grant you a Jabez blessing. Glory be to God Almighty. All you need to do is be obedient. Please let me know if you understand Prophetess Dallas. Yes, I do, sir. The Lord bless and keep you, and thank you so much. And have a blessed night. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, my prophetess. And God bless you too. Glory thank be to God Almighty. Wonderful. Now, if we are obedient to the words of Almighty God, if we do His commandments, if we walk in His statutes, if we observe His precepts, then we shall be nicely saved. The same book of Deuteronomy 28, it tells us that if we obey the commandments of God Almighty and be obedient to Him, then He will cause blessings to overtake us. He will extend our borders. He will pour out a blessing upon us that we have not room to receive. But let me tell you something. The same Deuteronomy 28, it tells you that if you turn from following after God, if you refuse to keep His commandments, then curse will overtake you. You shall be cursed. Your seeds after you, if they do not look to God as, as their personal Savior, they too will be cursed. Glory be to God Almighty. So why not follow God and be blessed? It is simple. Do His will. Do His commandment. Be obedient. You can do it. If Paul had done it, then you and I can do it too. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Daniel and the others, Abraham, all of those great men that the Bible speak of, they did it so we can do it too. Glory be to God. Thank you so much for calling the Vice of God Ministry. Please go ahead and tell us your name and where you're calling from. Bless you, Pastor. I'm uh, Mr. Lloyd calling on you from Nathan. Okay, welcome back, Mr. Lloyd. Please go ahead with your question, sir. Yes, Pastor. Um, I would like you to share the light and something for me. You see, when I look into the church in these days, I saw many people praying, let me say many women praying with their head, their head uncovered, or preaching with their head uncovered. And when I look at this in the book of 1 Corinthians 11, beginning from the verse 3, can you shed some light on that for me, please, sir? Thank you. Okay, wonderful, Brother Lloyd. Glory be to God Almighty. Let me tell you something, people of God, all my viewers, let me, all my listeners, let me tell you something. If you're going to pray, 1 Corinthians 11 right here tells you to cover your head. Cover it. Do not rub something around it and leave the crown out, but cover it in entirety. That's for the ladies. If you're going to preach, cover your head. Whatever you're going to do concerning God, cover your head. Glory be to God Almighty. You should cover your covering. Now your ear is given to you as a covering. Now you should cover your covering. Therefore, you should put something on your head to cover your head in entirety. Glory be to God Almighty. If you pray without your head being covered, the Bible said that you dishonor your head, which is God Almighty. Now, 
if you preach with your head as a woman uncovered, I see many preachers preaching and they don't have anything on their head. The Bible said right here in 1 Corinthians 11 that you dishonor with your head. Not this head, but your head which is God. So if you do all these things being a female, not covering your head, you dishonor God. Let me tell you straight. Now concerning the men, when you do these things, do not cover your head. Because if you cover your head, you dishonor it God. So if you're preaching, if you're praying, anything concerning God, if you're doing it, and you cover your head, you dishonor God. Now, you have men that wear turban, especially in the revival faith. But what they do, they wrap the head and they leave out the crown. So they would wrap around here and they leave out the crown. Glory be to God Almighty. So we ought to know these things. And I thank God that Brother Light came up with this. Because too many people have been practicing to do things in the house of God. Or do things, do the work of God. Let me put it like that. With their head being uncovered, being females. A lot of female, female preachers. And not many churches enforce this, that your head should be covered. No. If your sin is as small as a mustard seed, you cannot enter. Anything that you do contrary to the word of God, it is a sin. Not only the things that are laid out in the Ten Commandments, but anything at all that you do contrary to what is written in the Bible. So if the Bible said a woman should cover her head when she pray, when she prophesy, when she do anything concerning the service of God, and that woman do otherwise, it is a sin. God bless you, Brother Light. Thank you so much for coming up with this tonight. Glory be to God Almighty. I hope and pray that all the ladies out there will take heed. Cover your head whenever you're going to do the service of God Almighty because it is biblical. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 will tell you about it. God bless you for sharing such light um, pastor. And I believe, I believe it's because of all these things when Jesus says at his coming that he shall say to many, depart from me, I never knew you. Oh yes, oh yes, very, very, very important. Yes. Bless me the name of Jesus Christ, because look at this now, when Jesus said depart from me, I never knew you. Remember they will say, have I not done wonderful works in your name? Have I not prophesied? Have I not cast out demons? So right here and there you realize that they were actually working with a spirit. Glory be to God Almighty. But it wasn't the spirit of God. Because Jesus Christ said, depart from me, I never. That's the key word in the sentence. I never knew you. And that is why First John 4 verse 1 tells us to try the spirit. Because not every spirit is of God. Many false prophets have gone out into the world. Glory be to God Almighty. I wish we had more time to elaborate on this. But you can catch us on Thursday at 7 p.m. in Bible study. And we can talk more on it. Bless you, bless you, Pastor. I pray that the Lord will continue to bless you with his wisdom. Continue to live for Jesus. Oh, yes. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you, Brother Lloyd. And thank you for calling the voice of God ministry. You're most welcome, Pastor. Wonderful. Glory be to God Almighty. Amen. We are almost out of time. Glory be to God Almighty. But I want to tell you, people of God, that we need to take heed to the word of God. And those that have called tonight, I'm going to encourage you to continue to read the Bible. Glory be to God. And whatever you do not understand, always feel free to call and to ask. Glory be to God Almighty. Because you see, when Philip, Philip said to the Ethiopian eunuch, do you understand what you read? He said, oh, can I understand without a teacher? Glory be to God Almighty. So God chose me in a time as this. Glory be to God Almighty to use me, amen, to give clarity to his people concerning his words. Continue to read your Bible. Feel free to call starting 7.30 p.m. sharp every Monday evening. Glory be to God Almighty. You can follow up with us on Tuesdays for the ministering service and on, on Thursdays at 7 p.m. we have the Bible study. God bless you. God keep you. 
Thank you all for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Please remember to share, follow, leave a comment. Glory be to God Almighty. Help me to spread the words of Almighty God by sending it out to your friends, your family, and ask them to send it out to others. Glory be to God Almighty. And in doing this, you will realize that there is going to be a difference in your life. There will be a difference in your life because God will pour you out a blessing that you do not expect. Glory be to God Almighty. Until we meet tomorrow evening at 7.30 p.m., do have for yourselves a wonderful, wonderful night. And do remember, I am yours truly, Pastor Dallas from the Vice of God Ministry, and I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you.